But we begin with 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast live in Lansing. And Brett, this ban on open carry coming amid big security concerns. The FBI with that warning. Yes, correct, Glenda. This meeting was urgently scheduled after the events in Washington, D.C. The only item on the agenda was this ban on the open carry of firearms, but some lawmakers say it's not enough. A unanimous uh, vote. The motion is adopted. A decision years in the making made in a matter of minutes. The Michigan State Capitol Commission voting in unison to ban the open carry of firearms inside the state capitol building, just days after a mob forced their way inside the nation's capitol building. We tried to take a, a very deliberative approach. Um, none of us believe that this should be our responsibility to get into policymaking decisions, but it is what it is, so we had to take it on. The ban only prevents open carry, but licensed concealed carry is still allowed. Many lawmakers say that doesn't cut it. I think it is a step in the right direction, but whether a firearm is, you know, on your hip or it is hidden in a coat, um, it's still a deadly weapon. After a group of armed protesters make their way inside the state capitol in April, lawmakers say a total ban is the only way to ensure safety. Their trial run for what they did in D.C. was in Lansing, Michigan. They did not commit acts of violence in uh, the state capitol like they did in D.C., but they, they showed how easy it was to infiltrate a state building. The commission says they reviewed a total ban, but enforcing it would have cost well over a million dollars. Representative Darren Camilleri of Trenton says it needs to happen. Maybe that means we do need to have metal detectors and a, a stronger security system put in place. But that is a small cost in comparison to what could happen if we don't put those measures in place. The ban goes into effect immediately, just two days before the legislature returns to session. And according to ABC News, an internal FBI bulletin warned armed protests are being planned at all 50 states leading up to Inauguration Day. The state police has not given us any solid evidence that there's anything to worry about. They continue to watch things, so it's in their hands. Their, their, their troopers are unbelievable, so we have a lot of confidence in them. Now, we did reach out to a number of Republican lawmakers for an interview, but have not heard back yet. Mike Shirky, the uh, chair, the uh, Senate Majority Leader, I should say, uh, previously expressed support for this ban. But uh, just today, we have a statement from the new incoming Speaker of the House, that is Jason Wentworth, and he says that the Capitol Commission does not have the authority to put in policy at the Capitol building, despite assurances from Attorney General Dana Nessel that they do. Reporting here live in Lansing, I'm broadcast. 7 Action News. And so important to make sure our lawmakers feel safe while in the state capitol and not threatened. Brett, thank you.